Hi my friends, welcome back to South America and Ecuador. In this episode, I will take you through my three weeks journey from the south of Ecuador to the north of Ecuador. And here you see me eating a very good pizza in a beach town in Ecuador. And I ate a, like a typical dessert, ice cream with cheese. What do you think about ice cream with cheese? <laughs> it was quite nice, but it was very strange for me. But I spent seven days here and yeah, I did surf, I sat at the beach and drank some beer, met some locals. Yeah, it was a good place. I really recommend you to go here. For beginning surfers, it's very good here. And yeah, and now we go. <laughs> we are trying to get fit, fitter, fitter. <laughs> and some days later, I went to Banyos. Uh, Banyos is a small, uh, small mountain town. They have a lot of waterfalls, uh, so it's called Aqua. Who uh, seven waterfalls? You bicycle around, and here you see the locals enjoying themselves in the waterfall. Uh, it was a very chill place as well. Uh, you see here, like the local, uh, you can rent. There is my bike. I rented for seven, uh, five euro US dollars, <laughs> and was it was actually broken. <laughs> I didn't get a flat tire. That was not uh, the best quality, but here I'm fixing it. I'm fixing the bike, so it's okay. But it was yeah, it was a little bit boring. <laughs> but here I fix the bike again. Whoa, we all the move. Here is one of the waterfalls. Yeah, it was a very good day. It was raining. Uh, a lot of waterfalls and raining. <laughs> Well, yeah, Banyos was one. It was was a very good place in in Ecuador to go. Uh, and what more can I say about Ecuador? Yeah, it's because it's so small. Uh, it's very easy to get around. Uh, so take the buses for five hours, and you almost. Get in, in the other side of the country, so it's, it's very convenient in Ecuador. But this is filmed in 2023, so this was before all the gang violence. And now that after I left Ecuador, uh, the situation had been a little more dangerous. But I felt very safe in Ecuador when I was there, in, except Quito. In Quito, uh, I feel like. Uh, after dark, it was not a good good place to be, but but now we are going to rafting and uh, learn some Spanish. He's our, he's our guide and Spanish teacher. <laughs> it was a for fun, dude. But here we are rafting. It cost me ten US dollars for a rafting tour, which included lunch actually. So it was a uh, bonus. There's a lot of good activities. You, you can rafting, bicycle, you can even, I think you can zip line as well. And they also have hot springs, so you get, you go to these bath houses that you see so. And it's, yeah, it's a very good place to be. And here's my favorite thing. You go to a local market and buy some uh, shakes. This was like a green smoothie. And here, Chicken feet, <laughs> chicken feet soup, <laughs> a typical uh, dish. But I am moving further, further now, in the other town, more north of Banyos, like one hour from Banyos. So, uh, I'm going to do the Cotopaxi volcano. I did not reach the summit because it was the weather was quite bad. So, but here is coca tea, coca tea, uh, a lot of coca tea in Peru and Ecuador. Uh, so, but we are now heading up to the 
the part of uh, Cotopaxi volcano. And it's like a t typical souvenir tourist place here. You can buy yeah, local craft. <laughs> But I did not buy anything. I was on a budget on this trip, so I did buy some tea, cook a tea, a lot of cook a tea, and soon you will see snow. Yeah, we see snow in South America. I was with with uh, a, a guy from uh, Panama. He had never seen snow, so he, he he was super excited to see snow, and me as a Swede, I was okay. Yeah, it's snow, <laughs> but it was up for 5,000 meters, but uh, it was not the summit. And here you have the wild horses in uh, the, yeah, in uh, around the Cotopaxi area. It was very peaceful. Uh, Ecuador is also one of my favorite countries. So this was Cotopaxi. I very sure it was a day trip because I think it was 40 euros, uh, 40 US dollars uh, for yeah, a guide and a transportation, but not with lunch. You have to pay extra for lunch. But now we are going to do uh, another hike for three days. I did a three days hike here and was also one of my favorite hikes in South America. And I feel it was not that high. I, was, I think this is around 3,000 meters. And also you meet a lot of locals, uh, a lot of foreign farmers around this area. He's the sheep farmer. <laughs> and also it's a lot of dogs uh, that protect the area, so a lot of people get beaten on this uh, hike, actually. I, I, did, I did not get beaten, but uh, a lot, I met some people that did get bite from the, the dogs. <laughs> you see here, the, the dogs is very aggressive. Yeah. Super aggressive. So if you take this hike, be careful about the dogs. Even if you like the dogs, uh, if you're a dog person, be a little bit afraid of these dogs because a lot of people get by get beaten off yes, yes. of this dog. So this is my recommendation. Be afraid of the dogs. That will help you. And they have some rocks. Not throw at them, but just uh, uh, scare them a little bit. It's my advice when you see these kind of dogs. Pick up a rock and then just uh, not throw it them. Don't, don't throw the rocks, but yeah. Imagine you throw the rocks at the uh, dogs. <laughs> and here is a gang. A German and two Netherlands uh, guys and that I met on the on the track. Uh, and this was self-guided tour, so I did not have a guide. I stayed in a hostel for five to ten uh, US dollars. And you see the the view here is, uh, is amazing. And uh, yeah, and this is another yeah, it's a gang to you to person from US as well. And uh, yeah. Here's me. Yay. Yay. <laughs> yeah, Ecuador, yeah, you see uh, I really love Ecuador. It's my second time in Ecuador actually. Uh, maybe I will go a third time to Ecuador because I want to go to the Ga Galapagos Islands in the future. But at the moment I did not go in this uh, on this trip. And maybe in the future when I get rich or <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah, some days later. We are now in Quitos. No, 
now we are in a chocolate factory. I really love chocolate. It's a very big thing in Ecuador, chocolate. Yeah. During the daytime in, uh, in Quito, for me it was fine in, in, in the central areas, but in, uh, during the night was, uh, I did not go out anything in the night. And here is my local breakfast restaurant. I ate, ate breakfast here every day. The services was very good and was very, the food was a good quality. And, uh, the, and they, I almost uh, was friends with the locals here because I did go there every day for five days. <laughs> yeah, some scrambled eggs, yeah. Tea, of course, I love tea. And we are in the equator with an Inca cola. You, if you go to Peru or Ecuador, you need to go to try Inca Cola. And now this is a pizzeria. I ate a lot of pizzas in Ecuador. <laughs> I really love pizza. But the, there was two women that owned the pizzeria. It was, uh, was they have very good service. A lot of good salads, good pizzas, olive oil. And uh, now I'm talking about um, we we'll leave Ecuador for good. Maybe I will come back and do the, the Galapagos. I'm saying, but for now, bye bye. I'm going to Colombia, Colombia. So now I am at the border of the Co of Colombia. So it was quite easy to pass. You just show your passport and then you leave. This is a last oh, meal yeah. in Ecuador. Fried chicken. <laughs> it cost me like two, two US dollars. So now I'm in no man's land. I'm not in Ecuador and I am not in, uh, in, uh, in Colombia. My passport is stamped out of Ecuador, but I am not in Colombia yet. So I'm in no man's land. Yeah, and here, if you go here, in this border town, that's a cross between uh, Colombia and, uh, and Ecuador, it's a, it's a very big church here, so you can go and see. I did see that my last time, 10 years ago, but not on this uh, passing. I have been to South America two times. <laughs> so now we are in Colombia soon. Here's uh, some kids, I think it was like a field trip to Ecuador or something. <laughs> now we are in Colombia. So what's happening next in the next video? Yeah, in the next video, I will take you through Colombia. I was in Colombia for six weeks, uh, so I saw a lot of places, a lot of places up in the north. So in the next video, you will follow my trip in the Amazonas of Colombia and uh, yeah, the whole country of Colombia as well. A lot of, so as, as I said, in the north part of Colombia. But this is the first days of Colombia. Uh, it's also my second time in Colombia. <laughs> oh, I really like Colombia. This is an Ecuador vlog, but I have to show this. This is a ten dollar hotel room in in Colombia. Pasto is my was my first uh, layover in Colombia, and I found a hotel for ten US dollars. See it, and we will see you in the next one. And then we will do a Colombian vlog. I think it will be a quite long vlog. Okay. Uh, I try to I I try to shorten them down as much as I can. But as I say, I stayed a lo long time in Colombia. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we see you in the next one. Take care and enjoy life and go to South America and Ecuador, oh, go to Ecuador. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
uh, if you have the opportunity. Uh, yeah, see you in the next next one. Ciao.